So this is Keypad ZS. It's uh, a port of my ZS40 patch, which is kind of inspired by the um, CS80. Uh, and I'll stress the kind of. Um, but I'm not going to talk too long about this patch because I have done other versions of it and a lot of things are consistent. I'll point out a few differences though. Um, across the top we have the envelope controls and this is an AR envelope attack release with a toggleable sustain and the sustain is paraphonic. Uh, that's really the only way to get sustain out of the key pad, um, the keyboard module. So what that means is that if I press down multiple notes, they'll sustain as long as I hold any of those notes. So the last note I release will determine how long any of them sustain. I'll, I'll just demonstrate that. So they're all holding their sustain level until I release that last note. Um, the envelopes use a kind of low pass gate um, instead of separate amps and filters. What happens is that the filter drops below an audio level and then there's in fact a high pass filter that cuts off any sort of bleed. Um, but the filter control is instead of called like frequency, it's called brightness. Um, and we can hear what happens if I turn down the brightness. And you can turn down the brightness so far that it doesn't make any sound at all. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can. Uh, <laughs> So that's a, a difference. Um, this transpose control, I, I talked a little bit about this um, on the Zoya subreddit. Um, this idea of what, what happens here is that this value module actually goes to the entire keyboard module. So when I change it, it will change all the notes. Um, so if I wanted to have things start with a C, for instance, uh, I could do that. And the keyboard is laid out like a guitar. Um, so it goes up by fourths. Uh, so, you know, C and then F and then A sharp and all that. Um, so if you're familiar with the guitar layout, Playing chords should be pretty simple. Um, you know, uh, I'm at an odd angle, so it's hard to see things. So you can play, you know, major and minor chords um, pretty easily, I think. Uh, and then these are all the controls for the ring modulator. And this is the ring modulator mix and the plate reverb. And, um, and that's it. Uh, one, one other thing I'll just point out is um, there's a offset for the second oscillator. And most of the time I sort of dial in like this. So E1 would be a fifth above whatever is being played. Um, but if you tap on this, and then start fine tuning, you can get like slight detunes, which is really nice for this sort of two oscillator setup. So I might tune it to a fifth and then switch over to the, the value view and add a little bit of a, a detune. Um, And that is uh, key, Keypad ZS. Um, the other thing I'll just say is that the envelopes, the low pass gate, they're not really, I mean, in a way they are, but they aren't. 
Um, the low pass gate, the, the envelopes for the, the synth are logarithmically shaped, which um, can take a little bit of time getting used to how they're set up. It uses a, a CV filter envelope that I've described in Tips and Tricks if you want to check that out. Um, and that is Keypad ZS, you know, if you just want sort of a little synth to toy around with, you know, it's, uh, it's there. <laughs> it, can, it can do what you're looking for, I hope. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.